Okay, it's time for our Style Squad to weigh in on topics that are creating quite a buzz. Joining me now is business and marketing expert Diane Grizel, relationship expert TC Brantley, and board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Beth Collins. Thank you all so much for being here. We have some great topics today. Thanks for you having excited us. for this? Thank you. All right, each day more and more details are emerging from the scandal involving General Petraeus. Mm -hmm. Here we have one of the most respected generals in our country, and every day we get more and more uh, information about what's going on here. Um, people are shocked because they held him in such high regard. Should your personal life matter if it ends up not being judged criminal? TC, you want to start us off yes, with this your one? Yes, personal life does matter, but I, I want to go deeper. Is that uh, Petraeus had uh, prostate cancer in 2009. He fainted in 2010. So I think there was something going on physical. No justification for affair. What happens with prostate cancer? Men, uh, things don't work as easily. So now he has this young woman, vibrant. He forgets about Holly, his wife of 37 years, and he finds something that gives him... You're, you're giving him an I excuse. Yeah. I, you are I'm giving an affair. I said, and I, am Diane, I said a while ago. No, there's no, no excuse. No, I said there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Teresa, but, uh, hang on. But the point is, where are you going is, with this? Where are you no, going with this? Because that point just made is, me mad. Is that with every relation, with every affair, even though he is wrong, dead wrong, tell okay. me all of his stars, you still have to say, okay, what was the element that got him to thinking that way? Because if she decides, I don't care. if Holly decides to stay with him, we have to find out to make sure it doesn't happen. Again, Holly that's better all. run okay. fast, yeah, that's I all. think. Um, should the... I thought you were going to come after me. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, you brought up a good point. In the military, this actually is a crime. This is, this is a high crime. You are going to bed with someone every night. This is your wife. Right. Why should we believe if you betray the person you go to bed with every night that we should trust you mm -hmm. with our highest secrets? Not only this, this is the head of the CIA yes. after this illustrious well, military career, and he couldn't even keep it under wraps, so yeah. I wouldn't trust him with That's any secrets. Great, <laughs> let's also <laughs> not forget that they found troves of, of um, classified documents in her computer. Mm. There's something enormous going on here, and I think it's going to unfold for us over the next few weeks, and I'm kind of intrigued by the story yep. because you just have to wonder what's behind it all and why it was covered up for as long as it was, why it came out, when it came out, and right. what's coming forward. That's a big one I'd like to know. Was this known a while ago? Was was it something that could have shaped the presidential election? I'm curious. Well, because for, he had he to absolutely. know about it before the election had happened, But here's right? the point, though. Absolutely. Here's the point, and though. And why didn't we? Uh, well, this is yeah. national security True on indeed, some level. But here's the point for absolutely. every man who was thinking about stepping on his wife. It doesn't, it's not worth it at all. Here's a man that even okay, though he stopped there for... Yourself. Uh, no, no, well, well, okay, you're redeeming yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, here's a man that even though he stopped there for four months ago, it still came out. And even though I think he dropped her, the woman was so infected with him, she called another woman, which started the whole process going. So, men, hear me loud and clear. It is not worth it. I understand <laughs> it's greener, but like oh. I said before, but just it's not worth it. Greener. You know, just get a divorce from this. It looks greener, all right? <laughs> yeah, well, all right, we have to move on Let's to the next on. topic here. We are talking about uh, the breastfeeding mobile. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. Take a look yeah. at some video here. Uh, it's a topic we talked about on the morning show the other day. Jill Miller is trying to get support for her latest idea, a milk truck, which is actually a safe haven for women to breastfeed their child. The milk truck can come to any location. You just contact them through an app. And it comes with a giant breast on the top of the truck, so everybody knows what's going That's on. That's a man's fantasy right there, uh-huh. But it's for breastfeeding. I understand, but again, you know, breastfeeding is a very private thing. And I like to go with uh, Diane. Uh, a couple of episodes ago, we talked about how states have to decide what they want to do. Uh, a husband and wife have to decide what to do with this manner. But as I tell people, uh, people in counseling, just make sure if the baby is breastfed, the husband's breastfed too as well. That's good both ways. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, 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 yes. I, I, I had, I have two children. I breastfed them both. <laughs> And this is an intimate moment it between is. the mother and the child. It and yes, is. it's a nurturing moment in every sense it's of the word. And but you Diane, can I do it that. in public and be completely covered up with a nice shawl and not a single person in the world would know about it. But sometimes it creates an awkward situation, it absolutely I feel like. But yes. even though, I, but, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I, I specialize a lot in breast surgery, so I see them in my office all the time. I've seen them inside <laughs> now. God bless you. Yeah, and, <laughs> but... 
when I'm sitting in a restaurant with my friend or an acquaintance, I don't want them to be taking their shirt off and no. showing me their yes. stuff. So it's I agree unnecessary. If you're, it's not if you're private. But as far as the truck goes, if this gives them an option so that they don't take it out in front of I'll me, then it. God Maybe bless them. I mean, I think the that there of, should be a haven for them to go to. Sure. I think the, so the that, motive <laughs> of the truck was to almost embarrass the company for not having exactly. a resource but like that. Exactly. And I don't like though, negative motives like understand, though, that. that breastfeeding also releases oxygen, which is that uh, powerful uh, uh, hormone that brings mother... Uh, uh, with child together so right. it's very powerful and also the Bible talks about breasts over 62 times and so it's in the Bible sure. so it's fine but right. do it in a nice way yeah. that's all we say. Let's take breastfeeding to another level now. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> last year ABC first did a story about a doll that lets little girls pretend My they're Lord. breastfeeding. Take mm. a look at this video. Mm. Now with the holidays approaching the doll is once again making a comeback. Some parents think it's cute. Others think it's uh, giving the wrong idea here. Uh, it's might be a little over the top. What do you think? I think it's beyond over the top. I think it is a publicity <laughs> ploy. And I really believe it, we need imagination in kids. We don't need to give them the tools for everything that is totally illusory anyway. Right. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. That, that, that just makes me just say one thing. Ugh, come Speak. on. Yeah. I mean, really, are Ugh. we saying that this is what you have to do when you have children? Are we setting a bad example here? Again, this is where I think parents are abdicating the throne and saying, you know what, let's let other people train our kids. Mm. The best example, the best role model that, our, that a child can see is in their parents, mom and dad working together. Uh, but uh, when you have a, 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 a young girl, especially dealing with the breast, you know, she's going to have issues already with her body mm -hmm. when she reaches puberty. So let's not add to it at all. So sure. you know what? All right. Because we're not careful to be having sex dolls as well. I just don't understand the purpose <laughs> for it. Behave yeah, maybe they it's see their mom right. do it. Uh, they want the toy. I don't know. But um, yeah. I think we're in consensus yeah, here. We're Probably weird. not a good idea. We all agree. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> all right. Take a look at this. Now, Dr. Beth, you are a plastic surgeon here, and we want to show some video here. This is a, a model who made headlines back in April when she morphed wow. herself into a real-life Barbie. But since then, so many people questioned whether this is a result of plastic surgery or Photoshopping. So the model here that you're looking at posed in a magazine. It was called V Magazine, the Power Girl issue, where she denies having any extensive cosmetic surgery. What yeah. do you think, Dr. Well, Beth? Well, it looks like she's at very least got breast implants. I would be very surprised if with a waist that size she were that large, but there are people who actually do have that type of body. I mean, it would be a rare instance that ha that happens, but to me it looks like she's at least had breast implants. Her, I mean, she's a young girl. Mm -hmm. I think that I've seen other women putting on makeup that way. There are women who are very talented with a makeup <laughs> brush, and I've seen that. There's somebody who paints herself to look like one of those Japanese cartoons. I've seen that mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, and so at, she actually looks like that to me. So I think she's doing a lot of that with makeup. I don't see a lot of surgical interventions. Right. She looks fake for other reasons. That's true. I also look at her and think, you know what? First, she does look great. You know, and then, you know what? I'm a little jealous. <laughs> I think she's come up with that something much. that really looks cool, and she looks great. And also, I think she's in search of her 15 minutes of fame, and she's getting it uh, on something kind of positive. But, she, you know, we all like Barbie. She's fun. <laughs> yeah, but here's a problem, though. Again, we having people becoming so superficial that now she's making a Barbie, a plastic doll, her goal. And what's going to happen when she reaches her 30s, her 40s, her 50s? I don't know. She, she goes can't visit Beth. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I'll make you her look like that. a Barbie again. But, 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 <laughs> But again, it goes to the point of is that when people have these goals, let's make sure, yes, the outside looks good, but it's not the outside, sure. it's the inside. Because I, you can dress absolutely. it, you can wear it. I'm not even right. so it's sure inside. if it's that. But she may be that's... just having fun saying, yeah. you know what? She may I'm be having fun, but, but again, hang on, she, hang on. Uh, I have we got to wrap this that. up. I'm so oh. sorry. We're out of time. Oh, we got to go. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here. We'll do it again real soon. Up next, we're heading into the kitchen with Keisha Cave. We'll be right back.